on today's churchtechcast.com screencast show using messages for the stage display and the main display. The Church TechCast screencast show along with all the Church TechCast network shows are generously provided for by viewers like you. Head over to patreon.com slash paulallencliff that's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash P-A-U-L-A-L-A-N-C-L-I-F and help out the show. Every dollar helps and you can uh, join me in changing lives and eternities for only one dollar a month. That's patreon.com slash Paul Allen Cliff. So in an earlier episode, this is a bit of a mea culpa, I couldn't figure out how to display the message on the um, the stage display, so I've uh, jumped in a little bit uh, more arms and elbows in, and I found it. It was there all along. I just missed it when I was looking, so I wanted to show that, and then I wanted to talk a little bit about the um, philosophy behind messages and some ways of using them and why you would do such a thing. So um, let's actually start with that first. When it comes to ProPresenter, you have the ability to display a message on the screen, but you also have a, the ability to display a message on the stage display. Remember, the stage display is also sometimes called a confidence monitor. It's a screen, which might be a television or it might be a projector which shows only to the people on stage. So a great reason to use this is for lyrics for the singers so they don't have to be looking at pieces of paper. They can just see what's coming up on the screen as it comes up on the screen. Well, another uh, use of this is messages. So you could for the uh, people on stage, you can give them information that they need to know. You can say, hey, the pastor's been delayed, sing another chorus. Or um, the pastor says that we need to tie it up because we're running late. You know, things like that. Whatever message you need to get across to the people on stage, you can get across with the message on the bottom of the screen and it flashes to get their attention as well. So that's one reason to use that for the stage display but that's not the only reason to use messages. At my church we often use messages for numbers for children that need their parents. So whatever system you use to alert parents of children having problems in uh, the children's ministry while they're in church, you can use, let's say that it's a number or a code for each child that they get when they um, arrive. Well, you can put that number or code up on the screen, and you can put it up, you know, in the lower third, put it up on the right-hand side, and that's independent from the other lyrics and the other things. So it could be during worship, it could be during the pastor's talk, etc. That you can put this up and then basically what I would recommend is that you use a system for check-in that does not use the child's name. So that way you're not necessarily embarrassing the parent or calling them out. You know, one time everyone might say, hey, you know, everyone has bad days, or maybe the kid was injured, that sort of thing. But you don't want it every week to be Johnny Smith, week two, Johnny Smith, week three, Johnny Smith. That's going to start to make it so that the parents feel a little embarrassed. You can also use messages to put up information that might be necessary, but might not be as important as something that you would put full screen or a last minute edition or 
just fill in the blank. So that's also something to do with it. But let me show you exactly what I mean by messages. So here we are in ProPresenter 5. Here, let me click on it to activate, bring that to the forefront. Now you'll notice I've since we last met, I did some uh, changes here on the button bar, and I have two buttons. I've got uh, a messages button here, and I've got a stage message button. So I would, depending on which one I want to use, I could click on messages here, and um, if I had the stage display on, that might actually cause a problem. I would expect that it's going to bring up the um, the messages dialog and then I can type in the messages. I can also uh, from, yep, here we go. Uh, so let's put in, let's say, number H Y Four, eight, M. So let's say that that's a kid's number. I can hit show message, and that would show up. Um, now the so you see it right here. Now I can format that by clicking over here and what I want is I want to remove this so I'm going to click on the elapsed time and I'm going to remove that and then uh, let's click on show message again okay so there that is but that's really not a good place for it so I can go down here in template And I can either apply a template or I can create a new one. It's down here below, there's a choice new template. And I'll pop that up. And let's call this a stage mess. No. Main message. So I can click save on that. And hopefully that'll bring up this di dialog here. Sorry about the delay. It doesn't like the fact that I'm running uh, Wirecast at the same time that I'm running ProPresenter because they're both, they can be kind of beefy programs. So I can do that. And now I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay, yeah, that makes that a separate window, so I'll drag that out of the way, and let's see where the text is on this. So what I would prefer is to put the text not smack dab in the middle, but let's say in the lower right hand corner and so I can do that or I could put it up here in the upper left hand corner wherever I want it I can put it there and then I would just shut that down and that should save my template Again, sorry for the delay here. Okay, and then I bring this back up here. And let's find where I put that ah, main message. I'm going to apply that right there. So let's see. Yep, so I put it up in the right-hand corner, and it shows up right here. So that's
that's a good use for that message. And you would see that that's the way that it would look on the main screen. Now, let me enable the stage display. And so now I've got this stage message icon, which if you don't know how to add these tools to the toolbar, I talked about that last week. But let's say that I need to go uh, to be ready for the message to start the click goes long. Let's say that's what I wanted to send to our musicians. So if I did that, here I'm gonna control I'm going to disable that. Sorry, I'm doing a little bit of gymnastics because I really need about three screens for this. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, so let me go back to ProPresenter. Command 2. Okay, that shows that message. Now let me and Wirecast show that to you guys. So, okay, and there we go. So you can see here on the bottom it says be ready for the message to start. The click goes long. So if I were to go back Okay, so now I'm back on my control screen and let's bring ProPresenter back to the forefront. You'll see that I've got some choices here. Send message is what sends it. Also, return sends it. So if you press enter, return, whatever, or send message, that will send the message. So you can't send like you know, paragraphs worth of information. We're talking like a sentence, a few words, something like that. So I've got a couple of choices here on the button. Hide, you'll notice that this stays right here. But if I show you the stage display again, you'll notice that the message has gone away. So if we go back to the main display here and go here, this is still here. So I can send the message again. So if they don't quite get it, no biggie, I can go back and they will see this again here on the bottom. But let's say that they got the message, they don't want to, um, and they, they've done it, and I just need to clear this out. That's what clear is for. Clear clears this here, and it clears it. Oh, sorry, I forgot which one you were looking at. So clear clears it from here and it clears it from the stage display both. Now let's say you need to send one message after another. What I want you to do is leave the message up and type in the new message. This is the new message. So I haven't sent this message yet. I haven't hit return. I haven't hit send message yet. So 
That means that if I go over here to the stage display, you'll see that be ready for the message to start. That message is still up. While if we go back over if we go back over to ProPresenter, we see that this is the new messages here. So now I can send that and that will replace the message on the screen so you see it down here. What I should really have done is formatted this so that it's larger but this is one of the templates that I created in the stage display in the stage display lesson so that's why it's as it is. Now what I can't really show you unless I well let me do it here uh, let's make this bad boy blink now it blinks so that's what it actually shows up as it actually blinks three times so that's just something for you to know it will blink to get their attention and then it'll just stay up as long as you need it to stay up until you hit hide or clear so those are a couple of the different messaging options that you have in ProPresenter and that's really a it depends on how you use ProPresenter and how what purpose you have for for having it as to whether the people need to see uh, the stage display message or whether the whole audience needs to see the other message. It could be that you know that you're whoever does the announcements. Uh, for us it's typically the executive pastor. Could be that this person occasionally forgets something or you get a message from the pastor, hey, remind so-and-so to do this announcement that we added last second, whichever. This would be a good uh, use of the stage display. So if the pastor needs to know something, hey, um, we'd like to show this slide, but the picture is really low resolution. If you call for it, we'll show it anyway. You could put that up. So that's just some of the flexibility that you have with ProPresenter and it's part of why I like it so much is you have the ability to send multiple messages to multiple places at once. There's no reason that you couldn't have a message up on the main display and send a different message up to the stage display. You can copy and paste and have it in both places or uh, stage display only or main display only. It really doesn't matter. But that is just part of how this great tool works. So while I don't work for them, while I'm not paid by them, I think Renew Vision Renewed Vision has hit a home run with ProPresenter, and I hope that you'll use it uh, with your church as you're going out to change eternity. Until next time, I'm Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com.